Hello, my name is Brett Stadsbold, and I'm the City Forester for Longmont. Today, my coworker Natalie and I are going to demonstrate how to plant a containerized tree. We have a bur oak tree here, which is a large shade tree that will fill in this space well in this park. Now let's talk about a few of the things to consider before planting your tree. For a large shade tree like this, we need quite a bit of space. So the things to consider are, do you have any surrounding trees? How close is your house? Do you have any buildings that are nearby? And what are the underground utilities? To locate your underground utilities, you'll need to call Colorado 811. Hi, I'm Natalie Werewine, and I'm the Natural Resources Analyst with the City of Longmont, and I'm here to show you some of the tools you'll need to plant your tree. So first and foremost, it's important to have your personal protective equipment, or PPE. For planting a tree, you don't need too much, a pair of gloves and some safety goggles. Some other tools you might need that you come across are a box cutter, tree straps, twine, a post pounder, you'll need stakes, metal or wooden are fine, a couple of shovels, a pickaxe depending on your soil type, a hard rake, a handsaw, and some mulch to finish it off. Prior to digging the hole for your tree, you're going to need to get a general width and depth of the hole ahead of time. So we can take our crude measurements here and use our trusty shovel, measure across the root ball, and we're going to estimate one and a half times the width of the root ball. We lay it on the ground. We generally know how wide we need to plant it. We can also use our shovel to estimate the depth. So that's about a foot and a half. Now we can start digging. All right, so we got our hole dug using our rough measurements with, with a shovel. Now we're going to go to the root ball in the container here. And a lot of times there's extra soil on top of the roots. So we're gonna slowly use our fingers, just spreading away some of the soil here. We can start to see where the trunk is flaring and right where we start to get into the first roots. That's where we want finished grade of this planted tree to be. All right, now we're gonna take the tree out of the container. This is a very large tree, so we have to support the tree while we're taking it out. Natalie's gonna hold on to the container while I slowly shimmy it out. I'm gonna grab it by the bottom of the trunk, and slowly wiggle it out. So now we've got the tree out of the container, and as you can see, we have what's called encircling roots. This can damage the long-term integrity of this tree. So we're going to actually remove these. And yes, it does harm it a little bit, but long-term, we're gonna have a much better tree. So you can take a handsaw, a pair of pruners, some box cutters, whatever will work really to remove these roots. Yeah, don't use your pruning saw for this. It'll be destroyed afterwards. So we've removed all the encircling roots so that all of the remaining roots are growing radially from the trunk of the tree. Now we're ready to plant. All right, easy in, there we go. All right, why don't you help lift it up? I'll grab the root ball and we'll get it mostly plumb. So Natalie's building a berm, which will help with infiltration of water. A tree this size needs 20 to 30 gallons of water every week during the growing season for the first two to three years. So that'll allow us to pour water within the basin and allow it to slowly infiltrate rather than running off. Now it's time to pound some stakes in to help keep this tree plumb while it's establishing in the first one to two years. 
We place them on the west and the east side of the tree since our prevailing winds are typically from the west. We line them up to make sure the tree is centered between the two stakes so we can drive in the second stake. Now we have our stakes pounded in and we can put the tree straps on to help stabilize the tree. All right, I have two straps, one for each side of the tree to attach to each stake. So just do these one at a time. All right, Natalie, I think we're ready for mulch. Let's do it. So we're gonna try to get at least two inches of mulch on our root ball. That helps keep moisture in during those hot summer days. Insulate the root ball during the winter so that there's less fluctuations in temperature. But we just wanna make sure to keep the mulch away from the trunk of the tree. Now that we have our tree planted, the last step is to add some water. For every newly planted tree, we give 10 to 20 gallons of water for its initial watering. And then, like I said before, 20 to 30 gallons every week for the growing season. Here's to a happy, healthy tree.